Good day, my dear brothers and sisters. Three important points of uh, reflection that I'm going to share with you today. First, our life is, is like a journey towards the promised land, similar to the experience of the Israelites in our first reading today from the book of Numbers. We are in a journey like the Israelites. Like the Israelites, we are on a journey, and our journey is towards the promised land. Our journey is towards eternity. But along our journey, sometimes, like the Israelites, we, we complain. Sometimes in our journey, we grumble. Like the Israelites, we are tempted to, to stop and we are discouraged. In their journey, God provides them everything. And God provides them something special. But like the Israelites, sometimes we, we don't appreciate it because we used to like our old ways. The Israelites, the Lord told them, just continue your journey because you will reach the promised land that I've told you, the land filled with milk and honey. But the Israelites, they were complaining to Moses and they complained to God and they told Moses that they wanted to go back to Egypt. In our life today, you know, I do not know if you have realized, but there is always something in us that prevent us to continue our journey. There is something that hinder us, that enable us to stop our journey with, with the Lord. It's good to ask ourselves this morning, my dear friends, what prevents you to journey with the Lord? What are those things, what are those events that makes you complain most of the time what are those things that makes you discouraged today one thing i've learned in our first reading is this complaining is not pleasing the lord and god is not happy with those people who always complain and this is true in our life, you know, we, we, we cannot reach our dreams if we always complain. We cannot see the beauty and the goodness of other people if we keep to complain. The first message that I would like to share with you today is this. From now on, stop complaining and start trusting the Lord. Continue to journey, continue your journey with God. Even the journey is seemingly difficult. Sometimes even the journey is very hard. Just go on. Friends, never allow your pains, never allow your frustrations, and never allow your sorrow to stop you reaching the crown of success. Stop complaining. Start trusting because the promised land is close. And second point of reflection is this. In our gospel for today, Jesus said, and I quote, You belong to this world, but I do not belong to this world. This is similar to the quote that I've read somewhere, and it says, We are in the world, but not of the world. Friends, my dear brothers and sisters, it will be difficult to follow the Lord if our lives are tied up to the things and the cares of this world. It is hard to reach heaven if we are not heavenly. It is impossible to, to, to reach the promised land if we are too much attached with our Egypts. And it's good to ask ourselves this morning as a point of reflection. Ask yourself, what are those attachments that prevent you to be a better person? 
What are those attachments that enslaves you, that makes you not heavenly? Today, remember, we are in the world, but not of the world. Whether friends, brothers, and sisters, the second point of reflection that I'm going to tell you is this. Be who you are in Christ not who the world wants you to be. And finally, the cross will tell us who God is. The cross reveals God to us because the cross tells us the glory of God. And the cross is now the new bronze serpent because when you look at the cross, you will not only be healed, but you will be saved. Other brothers and sisters, how are you today? Are you upset? Are you discouraged? Are you angry? Are you, you, are you down? Are you depressed because of the situation we are in now? Are you afraid and terrified? Today, the Lord is telling me and you, Look at the cross. Don't be discouraged because the cross will reveal to us the glory of God. And just an addition, you know, I just want to warn everybody. This is just a warning. Why? Because like in our first reading today, there is now a new serpent that creeping around. There is a serpent, a type of snake that keeps on biting people. And this serpent is very dangerous. Be careful with this one. And the name of this serpent is what I call sin. Sin is more poisonous than the serpent. Sin is more dangerous than the serpent. Sin is more terrifying than COVID-19. But remember, the good news is this. Just look at the cross and you will live. Because in the cross, you will see not anymore the serpent hanging, but it is Jesus, the Savior of the world. Jesus came down to raise us up because the cross is the glory of God.